When I was 20, I was doing very well. I made $117,361.13, right? That's why this is here, my first eight months. I had a manager call me and he said, hey, will, will you come? There's two agents. They're in Northern Missouri. They're four hours away from you. They don't know you. They're, they've heard of you because you're crushing it, but they're struggling and they don't know what to do. Like they're struggling to make sales and make money and they need your help. Will you come up here and help them for a day? I'm like, well, I mean, I'll door knock with them, you know? That's all I was, I did a ton of door knocking and, and we did. And I drove up, door knocked. We made, I think five sales in, in the day. And I left all the business with them, five apps. I didn't sign them. I left all the apps, the commissions, everything with them. We were high five, we were having a ton of fun and I was driving back home. And I was in tears thinking about how much fun I had that day. It made me no money. Actually, it cost me money. It cost me gas money. Probably cost me a couple hundred bucks. And in, in time, when I'm when you're making, in the time I was probably making, um, let's just call it four grand a week. I don't know. Uh, at that time, that means that that day cost me eight hundred bucks, plus an additional two hundred dollars in gas. That the day cost me a grand. But I did it because, and I was I was I was in tears thinking about the whole situation because uh, it was. I knew I had found what I wanted to do the rest of my life. Like I'm driving back thinking, man, if I ever get an opportunity to go out and help an agent like that again, I'm doing it because I felt, felt better about them making money than when I made money. Because me going out and making insurance sales at, at that point felt very easy to me. <laughs> Most people think it's like the hardest thing in the world, but I was a natural. It was flowing out of me. It was a blast. It was so easy, but I enjoyed helping others make money and make sales way more than I enjoyed myself. So fast forward a decade later, we're doing this and showing off some money and stuff and, and messing around. You know, the people that know me deep down know that I'm not, you know, an, an arrogant jerk. They know that I am showing this to them because they can, if I can have this, they can too. And so that's why we do what we do. Put up a video five years ago, not knowing where it would lead and look where it's blossomed to now. Um, but the point is you, you got to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life, you know? And I think you started to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life too, mm -hmm. which is pretty freaking cool. Mm -hmm. What a, and, and, when we, and when we talk about guys that Cody and Lauren spend so much money to give back, to give you guys uh, the help that you need, you know, I'm the boring one in the company. I'm the one that's always saying, no, we're not doing this. No, we're not spending this. But of course, Cody's like, well, yes, we are. And you can go and sit in the corner and, and, and just deal with it. <laughs> So that's cool, man. That that's awesome, and, and I think a lot of people need to understand why you do it, and, and kind of the backstory of yeah, hey, you have put a lot of your own personal time, your own personal money into it, yep. and that's that's super important to know. And just for the record, this is all going right back in the bank. I'm hoping I can, you know. Yes, go, it is. I'm gonna go buy some real estate with it or something. I hope, you know, like I'm not just, um, or we'll throw it at the conference and we'll drop all of this from 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 this from the ceiling at eight percent. Maybe that's what we should do. And he's like, no, we nope, should not do no, that. No, we will not. <laughs> <laughs> Vote. Let us know below in comments. Should we do that? Should I take all this and just drop it into your lap at the conference? Okay. Like, cause, and, and you guys are watching this. You're like, I don't even know what that is. We threw 8% Nation. We had um, Justin Forsett, Inky Johnson. We had some surprise speakers. And we actually dropped tens of thousands of dollars from the ceiling. Some people picked up more cash than they paid for their ticket, which is freaking awesome. That's what it's all about. It is. My next question is, was there a moment within the last 10 years that you knew you made it, that you knew you hit the definition of being successful? Um, well, I always told myself, you need to be a millionaire before you're successful. That's just what people think, right? You know, oh, you're a millionaire, you're successful. Um, there's, it's, there's more to life than money though too. But for me, my goal was to be like this, my goal was to make 100 grand my first year. I wanted to be a millionaire before I was 30. I'm, I'm 30. We've got, you know, we'll, we'll do 10 million bucks this year from all the companies. We've got 100 staff between my dad's company and our companies and, and, and Land and I's company and the two buildings and all that. Um, the moment, I don't know. The thing is, the thing is, I don't know that I feel like deep down, I almost still feel like I'm not successful yet. I think that's what like drives me and is so insane that people, the people, Maybe, you, maybe if you're like, your personality is like me, you can comprehend that. But I 
still feel very unsuccessful because the people I'm following and I'm hanging out with and I'm watching are freaking light years ahead of me. You know, like I'm, t- I'm talking, I'm, t- I'm telling my wife all the time, like, man, I, I-, I want to get on, I, wanna- I got to get on Bert's level. I got to get on Cardone's level. I want to be Brian Tracy, you know, and, and you think about that kind of stuff. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing so hard because I want to look back in a few decades from now and I want when people think of the word insurance, sales, maybe at one point real estate, money, whatever, success, I want them to think of us and what we're doing and everything we got going on and we got an amazing team that's helping us along that journey. I personally don't feel like I'm actually successful yet. That's the funny part of it because when I go home, I'm like, crap, I still, still can't buy a plane. That's a problem. Now, technically, we could get a down payment on an okay plane with what we got right here. <laughs> yes, we could. Right? We could. We could. So uh, that's a good point because I feel like when you ask an insurance agent or anybody, hey, what do you want to make this year? They just say, I want to make six figures. Yeah. I want to make $100,000. More, more than I made last year. Exactly. What kind of freaking answer is that? When you made $117,000, what was your next step? What was that feeling for you when you looked at, you know, your tax form and like, wow, I did it. Yeah. What was the next feeling? And I still got the 1099 to prove it too. Okay. For those who are like, ah, oh, you didn't do that crap. You know? Okay. Um, for me, it was okay. I started thinking if I can do a hundred, because you gotta think guys, I'm, I'm 20, I'm in college, I'm playing basketball. A hundred K seemed, I mean, <laughs> When I'm getting paid like six fifty an hour to work at a grocery store, to then go earn $100,000 just a few years later, it did not seem possible, okay? Like if I didn't have people around me that believed me more than I believed myself, I would have never got there. Um, and so my next step was, okay, how do I, if I can get to 100, I can get to two. If I can get to two, I can get to three. If I can get to three, I can get to four. I get to five and I can get to a million bucks a year. You know, and now I'm like, dude, if, if I can get to one hundred and then I can get to a million, which we've done, if I can get to 10 million, right, which we're doing, then I can get to a hundred million. And then if I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm starting to actually operate and think, man, if I can get to a hundred million, I'm watching billions right now uh, on, on Amazon, uh, Prime. Amazon Prime. So freaking good, by the way. I love that kind of stuff, man. I love it. And I'm like, how do I become Bobby Axelrod? How do I earn a billion dollars? Now, I'm, 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 I don't know, like, you know, again, I'm early in the show, so I don't know if he breaks the law or what. I have no freaking clue. All I know is I'm always going to do it with an ethical reason. You know that. My, the team knows that. My parents would freaking disown me, okay, because I want to help people the right way. But for me, it was like, oh, it's always what's next. It's always like, how do we level up? I've been thinking about lately, how do we get 8% to a couple thousand to 10,000, like, if we had to just go rent an arena for 10,000 people today for 2022, what steps would we take to pull off getting 10,000 there? Uh, we'd have to push harder than we'd ever push. We have to spend millions of dollars. We'd have to go flipping ham. But could we pull it off? Like that's the kind mm-hmm. of stuff that I lay, lay at night and think about. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. If you had to help an agent out there that's struggling, they're, 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 they're not where they want to be yet. Um, and maybe, maybe they're new, but they're like, man, I'm, I may quit. I'm thinking about it. Like, I'm not making any money. What advice would you give them?